Well, do we want to <clears> intro <throat> this? I'm getting there. Getting okay. There. Well, I can start I didn't the bring intro. A beverage with me, whatever. Oh, do you want to get, grab your beer or whatever? No, I finished that beer. Oh, well, there are more beers. Yeah, I don't need another beer. Yeah, I drank a little too much last night. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was like trying to keep up with you, but then I was like, I'm good. I'm not having another one. <laughs> and, you know, like I didn't feel great today, but I was like, it actually wasn't bad considering how much I drank last night. No, I didn't wake up feeling bad. I knew like it was a little hard to get out of bed this morning. Yeah. But once I did, it was fine. It was also like, I drank a bunch of beer and I like played tennis yesterday and did like. It looked like you got some sun too. Yeah, I got some I sun. Drink some energy. And like this whole weekend, because it was like uh, Justin's wedding, I was. Uh, I pretty much felt like I was like, I've only had caffeine and alcohol like this whole weekend. <laughs> like my body it was just like, like a normal super dried out. No, what? I drink a lot of water. Sure. But you also drink a lot of alcohol and sugar. Oh, caffeine. I'd say yeah. coffee, not necessarily. Oh, yeah. I guess sugar. Mo- like nine times out of ten when I have caffeine, it's accompanied with sugar. No, I've been sticking to like tea and black coffee. So yeah. it's very like low sugar. I did learn. I don't know if I told you about this. There was a Stuff You Should Know episode I listened to about mm-hmm. artificial sweeteners. Mm-hmm. Apparently. And obviously take this with a grain of salt because mm-hmm. all research now is still like more needs to be done. Yeah. But there is some research that leads us to believe that artificial sweeteners make you fat because so like your uh your salivary glands Mm -hmm. like they you know like different things hit different spots so yeah yeah. your body has grown accustomed over the years to whenever like the glands that like sweet stuff activates Mm -hmm. hits your body expects an influx of sugar and calories okay but artificial sweeteners break that Mm. if you got too much of this yeah, if you have too much of it, your body will stop associating sweet with higher calories mm-hmm. and will not prepare to burn those calories. So when you do have real sugar, your body doesn't burn it as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, so, anybody listening to this, do your own fucking research. Yeah, I don't but, know. I mean, that's a thing that is potentially a thing. Yeah. I usually I don't really like any artificial sweeteners anyways. So. Yeah, they're generally just not. Yeah, they, they taste kind of weird. Yeah. You can well, taste the artificialness. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and it's like, it's true of like, uh, I think it's stevia, the one that has like the little leaf on it. Mm-hmm. Stevia is a naturally occurring sweetener. Like it's, mm-hmm. yeah, it's from, plant. it's not a chemical. It's, it's like just a root, taken right? from a plant. I yeah. don't know. I think it's, it's a just, root. it's a thing taken from a plant. Mm-hmm. It's still true of that. It activates those sweet glands mm-hmm. and your body stops relating sweetness with. Calories. Oh, really? Even that? Yeah. It's not just like the chemically made stuff. Oh, okay. And, um. Uh, but there is supposedly there's a plant that makes a a sweet like molecule mm-hmm. that is actually a protein that hmm. we may start seeing soon. I don't know, listen to the episode. Yeah. It's a good episode. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Good Alchemy Podcast. Joining me this fine, lovely night is Addison Shiflett. Whoa. You know him. You love him. He's the man with the beard. Billy Big Beard, I like to call him. Well, now you're just giving away that I have a beard. That's crazy. These are like listeners. They're not watchers. What if they see a bearded man on the street and they think it's me? It usually is. Yeah, I am all bearded. Nine out of ten (laughs) bearded people I meet are you. Yeah, that's true. And I'm Cooper. Of course. Not really your host, but I introduce the show every time, usually. Mostly, if I'm here. yeah. I think I've been on every show. I think actually. you're scared of my intros. I, I just don't like the. <laughs> I, we've been over this. We're not talking about this again. I know, I know. But, like, I, I, I can do a regular intro. Yeah, well, then do it. Like, like, yay. Hey. I'm not, I've never stopped you from doing an intro. Well, I, w- I was about to. I will, I will usually correct your intro it. when you do one I don't like. Yeah, but like, welcome to the podcast, everybody. There you this go. is good alchemy. Oh, yeah, I'm cut, Eddie. cut everything I just That's said cool. and do that. And we're uh, we're doing this thing again that we do mostly every week. Not really even close to every week, but we do it well, often enough that it's a thing. We we did it every week for a little while, and then we kind of got off like life stuff, and then like going to a wedding like last this weekend that just passed, and uh, yeah, I don't remember what we were doing last one. Maybe we just forgot. I can tell you what we're doing right now. What are we doing? Having a boring conversation. Let's get into some shit. Yeah, like what kind of shit? Heroes I'm... of the Storm <laughs> has got some shit coming up. Oh, no. That you know I'm going to talk about. You're going to be so mad, though. Why are you so salty? Why are you so salty about free stuff? 
because we it's okay, i'm gonna take i'm gonna take the opposite approach here yeah it, you are but, yeah we, okay but we've already had a conversation about this exact monetary yeah. system and you were on my side last time we talked about it yeah that's what i'm saying i'm gonna uh, devil's advocate i love doing it so i'm yeah. gonna do it again why are you so salty about free stuff okay you're, you're getting you. nothing i'm not but mad free about stuff. the free stuff you sound like you're mad yeah whatever all right <laughs> i can hear the resentment I, I know, I in your voice <laughs> Well, it's because you're you're saying these arguments to be like argumentative, of course. I yeah, I, I go through the. I'm a lurker on Reddit. Mm-hmm. I was reading through it, and people were making these arguments. Oh, people! They're are... like, they're like, guys, it's free stuff. How can you possibly complain about free stuff? Yeah, and I'm sitting here, and I'm looking at it like, well, yeah, but there was free stuff in the game already. Well, we should explain what it is too. What's yeah, going okay. on? Yeah, okay. So it's Overwatch and or Hearthstone. It's just that system. It's like the loot box system. They're yeah. introducing it into a MOBA now. They're a MOBA. Yeah. They're, and they're, they're adding a ton of bullshit that nobody really wants. Like, like emojis. Emojis. And, yeah, that's exactly what we want in the middle of a yeah. fucking game where there's no possible voice communication. Yeah. And typing is already a pain in the ass. Yeah. I really want some dickhead dropping emojis in the middle of mm-hmm. the game. Of course, so yeah. So I can look down and read a fucking smiley face. Yeah, I want to see a little murky real giving me a little heart in the middle of the battle. Like, oh, look, murky giving me that little, little heart or thrall. Oh, thrall's yeah. angry. And then they added sprays. Added sprays. Which, which those are supposed to go away after a few seconds. But, that like, both of these things go against, like, core like beliefs that they've said they had mm-hmm. about the game one they want to reduce visual clutter they've said that multiple well, times for not yeah. implementing things it and it's also because they like they have a very tight working space for how much memory everything yeah the running engine on. they use yeah. is uh, pretty pretty under well, load it, already it, they it needs to be <clears throat> crisp like everything needs to flow because it's a very like you don't need lag there so adding yeah. more visual things hurts the like overall performance of the game yeah so so they've said multiple times when saying why they don't do mm-hmm. certain things why they don't have features that some other games have their defense has been we really don't want to add visual clutter okay yeah. fair enough except look what you just fucking did mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. just added tons of visual clutter just for money mm-hmm. doesn't add any good gameplay for us no you did it just for money yeah okay second of all They've gone so far other, and this isn't just in Hearthstone. Or okay, that's the other game I was referencing. This isn't just in Here's the Storm. It's in Hearthstone, and a, a little bit in Overwatch. They don't want people to be able to communicate with others to an extent that they can easily talk talk shit. Basically, they don't want people to have negative experiences interacting with each other. Yeah, that's why everybody's got their like uh, things in like. Heroes of, or no, Heroes of Storm, Overwatch. They've got their like little quips. They say like, "I'm moving with the payload," or like, "Get on me." Like, yeah. you say these like things really quickly, and it like gets the point across. Yeah, just by your actions, and it's not yeah. negative. And the, so they've done this in, in Overwatch. You can see it because they have a uh, precedent over the group chat instead mm-hmm. of team chat. Yeah, where if up. like if you're in a group with your friends, you're you'll never get added into team chat normally. You have to do it manually. Mm-hmm. They're trying to keep people separated. Yeah. And Hearthstone, you only have five options to communicate with yeah. the other player. You mm-hmm. can't type to them, nothing. And they, they took one of them away. They had, like, a different one that was, like, kind of derogatory, and they changed that one, oops. like, a while back. Is it that yeah, one? Oops, yeah. yeah. That everybody always used that. They do something, like, mm-hmm. wipe your field and put oops. And now it's, like, a wow, yeah. that was amazing or something like that. Yeah, like, so, it's only, like, a surprised one. And then in Heroes, they always said they're like they didn't want to add voice communication. One, they would be like, well, we got to have the infrastructure for voice communication. Mm-hmm. Like okay, big deal. Tons of games do it. I don't see why well, that's. But they a have Blizzard chat or yeah. It's like you're also Blizzard. Fuck you. You can and do it. Like heroes, whatever. The, or but story. also they're like, oh, and we also don't want people to flame each other through voice chat, which tons of that is already happening. Yeah, I would say that you might even cut down on that with voice chat because people are so like angsty and like typing already, and then once you start getting angsty and you're typing. You're losing valuable playing time yeah. because there's so much to. There's always something you can do in a MOBA. And I also feel like a, a lot of the communication elements are lost mm-hmm. in type. Like I might just, I might like, I might notice a teammate's off in another lane, and I could just go on and be like, "Hey, dude, we could really use your help right now." Mm-hmm. But then when yeah. I'm trying to type quickly, I'd be like, "Butcher, we needed you." Yeah. And he'd be like, "Fuck you!" I was blank, and I'm like, "No, dude, I'm not. I'm not being angry. I'm just trying to let you know, like." Like, Most people, you're a perfect example of this. Yeah. People don't pay attention to pings. No, I, I, I have like even adjusted the game's volume so that pings are the loudest thing in the game. I still don't fucking hear them. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's your primary. I think it's because well, I think here's the problem. When people ping, like you do this, and there are other people that do this. When they ping, because nobody pays attention to it, 
They I do ping, it three times. They ping a million times. So now instead of it being like ping, oh, what's that? What's something's going on? I hear ping, ping, ping. And after I have the second ping, it's I've tuned it out because it's like when your phone goes off. It's like I've tried to stop doing it, but people don't pay attention to single pings either. Yeah. Well, it's it's like, like I, I have the same problem yeah. with my phone. If I get one text message, it's like, oh, what's going on? If I get like five in a row, it's like I don't want to touch that fucking phone right now. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. So it's it's a problem where people don't pay attention to pings. So I got to ping multiple times, but then people it just becomes spam. Mm-hmm. So it's yeah, like, it's what do much. you do? So the pings are not a good enough way of communicating. I just wish I honestly wish the pings would stay up a little longer. Like if yeah. if when you pinged on the map, mm-hmm. like maybe you can do less of them, but it actually just leaves like a thing on the map for like even ten seconds, just like hey. And then the next time you ping, it disappears and puts the next one wherever it is. So it's like fall back, and it's like group on me, and the fall back moves out. And now there's just the group on me. Yeah. So yeah, so that would help for there, me at least. There's communication problems in it. Yeah. And they don't want to add ways for you to communicate nope. because they don't want people to flame each other. Yeah. But they're adding sprays, and you know what the sprays are going to be used for. You're going to kill somebody. Yeah. You're going to drop your spray on mm-hmm. their body, and it's going to be a taunt. It's, well, <laughs> they've also added taunts. Yeah, exactly. It's like, <laughs> there, it's all this shit just got thrown out the window as so, soon as yeah, money so got So now, you not only will you spray, but then Thrall is going to like slash dance and go like, <clears throat> look at my moves or something, you know? Yeah. And all that, I don't even really care about all that, like, except whatever. for that they were contradicting what they've said before. Yeah. I hate the loot box system because it feels bad. Yeah. I don't care that it's free shit. It feels bad. I've, and I've spent like well, fuck everybody who's like, oh, it's free shit, motherfucker. I've spent over, I've spent close to two hundred bucks on this game. I, I don't a give a fuck about that. this yeah. free shit. Sure, I mean it is a free to play game, so I yeah. So no, no, I get it. They're they're yeah. going after the whales, but they're doing it in a way that negatively affects me. Uh, I do like that now you can get skins, which previously you could only get master skins by playing the game free to play. Now you can get any skin in the game through a random loot system. I don't think that's bad. A lot of people are upset about that. I'm not because I never bought any of them, but a yeah. lot of people are upset that those master skins are just being given away. Yeah, I don't like that either. That's like, <clears throat> it's like shit, man. Those now, yeah, no, those are ro- rolling over to be like just regular old skins again. Yeah. Which I mean, none of them were that good, anyways. No, I think honestly, what they should what they or what they should do is they should ditch the current master skins. They should still make them a make special some something. Good skins. Well, a master sh- skin should be like this is like what a like level one character versus like a level like eighty character and wow should be like they should look they should be geared the fuck up yeah and most of them don't look that much different honestly yeah or like they don't look that much cooler like they looked cooler in their original form like Johanna is geared the fuck up. But her helmet looks weird, and like everyone that I like see online, yeah. it's like I really like playing yeah. Johanna, but like her helmet looks weird. Like, why is she wearing that helmet? It's cool that she's got like the shaved head and everything. You should have just like g- not given her the helmet, yeah. or like given her something that where like you can still see the hairs. I don't know, something like that. That's the problem with almost every master skin I look at is most of them half of them like don't have enough differences, yeah. or they've gone too far to where it just looks silly. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, like, I play Muradin a lot. He's, like, one my highest hero. But, like, his master skin, I want to get it still. But, like, it's like, okay, his shoulder pads are a little beefier. And they added, like, a little bit of glow in the eyes. And maybe his weapons look a little, like, sharper. But, like, yeah. it's it's still very clearly Muradin. And if you didn't know better, you wouldn't know that it's a master skin Muradin. Right. But, but going back to mm-hmm. the issues, they're, they're changing the monetization system. Yeah. So, where before you could buy... Most things, like they have some things that cycle in and out of the store, but you could buy most I think of them. Only with mounts money. were gold. Uh, yeah, mounts and, and master skins. Master skins. Yeah, there were like mounts that were specifically gold only. Yeah, and everything could be bought. Almost everything, not everything. Almost everything could be bought with in-game money that you unlock over time. Well, no, not skins. No, I said almost everything. <laughs> well, skins were the majority of things. You could buy all heroes with gold and some mounts oh yeah That's okay it. yeah i'm getting that confused it's, yeah yeah other way around you couldn't buy skins yeah except for the master skins with gold yeah and you had to get your hero to like a high like level yeah. of proficiency to do that yeah so they're they're changing the monetization system from that system where it's like you can unlock all the heroes mm-hmm. without paying a dime but if you want any of the cosmetics you got to pay for it mm-hmm. which i think which is like a good system i like it 
Obviously, yeah. they're making more money with this other system. Yeah. But that other system is like, it's fucked up because it goes after people's psychology. Mm-hmm. It's like that want to like, yeah. like, oh, I could get anything in this next yeah. box. You're not going to. Like, yeah. And it's worse to me because it's like, usually I don't like a ton of the skins. Yeah. I buy the ones I like. Oh, yeah. Now it's like, oh, there's one skin I like. Mm-hmm. I'm never going to get it. I wonder if they're going to do some sort of scrapping system. where it's They like, are. Well, but I, it's going to be the same as Hearthstone and Overwatch where you got to scrap like five things Yeah, but if you only like one. one skin, though, and you're getting all these other skins through but boxes. I, can't, I would rather just buy the skin. I would rather just give them my money. But they're scrapping that system where mm-hmm. I can just buy what I want for a system that incentivizes the whales yeah. to spend like hundreds of, of dollars just to, to get, get one, one item. Yeah, yeah. And they're, they're basically like, Fuck you. We yeah. want that money. Now, I heard they're still going to be rotating. They, like, have weekly sales, and apparently those things are still going to be in rotation. It's where you can be spend items, yeah. Yeah, so they will feature probably a set of skins. Like, I imagine in winter, you will be able to buy a winter set of skins. Yeah. And I bet those will be heavily bundled with heroes and other things to make them more expensive. But still, I still think you'll be able to get the skins, like, just like you do now, where you wait for a sale, and then you get it. Because apparently most people... Don't buy them at full price. Almost everybody waits until there is a sale on that one item and then buys it. Yeah. I mean, that's what I've always done. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I do for the most part, too. Unless something comes out. Like, I normally try to get them bundled with a hero or on sale. Yeah, that's what I do. Because I I never go through the shop. Mm -hmm. I just go to the featured page, and that's all that's ever there is the sales. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, it feels bad. Like, I feel like I might stop playing the game when it comes out. Yeah. Either I might just decide not to play mm-hmm. anymore the moment it starts, or I feel like it's going to get burned out. Because the same thing, I decided to play Overwatch this weekend. Overwatch is great. I was just hanging out at home. I was like, I, like oh, I want to shoot. I'm gonna, I love shooter. Overwatch. Yeah, it's a great shooter. I don't play it as much as I would because of that loot system. It's a weird thing, but it's like, oh, I got a, I got a loot box. Sweet. I'm going to go open it. Yeah. I'm excited. I got this loot box. Open it. Oh, I got... I got a spray. Sure. And then I got two things that I already had, one of which is a fucking... This happened. Yeah. I got a legendary that mm. I, I've gotten three times now. Mm. And legendaries are... Is it uh, 2,000 gold? Yeah, they're, they're expensive I think, to I get think they're in, 2000, in the game. Something like that. You don't... even You get half of that. I think you get less than half it of It might that. be a quarter. I think it's a quarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is a quarter. That's yeah. right. Because if you get legendary gold, legendary gold is... Uh, it's, it's actually worth more than... Yeah, it's half of what a legendary mm-hmm. is. Yeah. But if you get a duplicate legendary, you get a quarter of what it's worth. Yeah, it's not worth as much it's as like, the gold. It's, it's just shitty. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It sucks. And It feels bad. It doesn't feel great. And the other thing is, like, it's not even like... I'd say it's actually a pretty good loot box system compared to some other games. Like, Battlefield 4, when I went into that... Or not 4, maybe Battlefield 1, the new one that came out. I never even figured that one out. I didn't understand like, what it was doing. They drop, like, it's like, that, here's how you get your weapons. Random loot boxes. And it's like. But those are just weapon skins, aren't they? No, it's like the weapons, I thought. I, I'm i pretty sure you have to unlock all the weapons. Oh, I didn't play money. very long because I also thought that game was like, I, thought, I couldn't get into it. I enjoyed it. I just, it was hard. Yeah. It was a hard game. Oh, so it's just weapon skins? I I, I think so. I, I I don't know. I couldn't figure it out. No? I, I was getting parts for things. I think you like, but they were them. like the parts were like super rare. Yeah. So maybe you can just build guns from that. I think you use the parts to like that's your like money you use to buy the guns. Yeah. If if as you're getting parts, but you can also get guns in the loot boxes, mm-hmm. which is like oh, but you can't use the guns unless you're a certain level. Yeah. Yeah. That class. Yeah, yeah. So there's still like a skill cap, but uh, g- give or take or whatever. But that, like, I don't. They there's a lot of games that do systems with like. Here's the essential things you need to play the game in a random loot system. It's like, that's not good. That's real bad. Yeah. Your chair is squeaking a lot. I know. I need to, like, oil this thing. But the, uh, the like, just random cosmetics, eh, not that bad. Yeah. I mean, it sucks that, like, especially in Overwatch. See, I don't mind it so much in Heroes of the Storm because it is a free-to-play game, even though I have spent so much money on it. Uh, but Overwatch, I spent $60 on that game. I should be able to, like, unlock in a reasonable amount of time everything in that game. Yeah. It is impossible. I'm, like, one of those collector people. I want to get all the things. Yeah, you can't do it without spending money. I can't, it's impossible. And not just some money, a ton of money. And and that's, like, what they're kind of targeting. It's, like, those people that are, like, collectors. When you look at, like, 
like, there's been some, like, studies on, like, the groups of people and, like, what they like in games. It's like, there's people who like to adventure and find new things. There's people who like combat. There's, like, the collector person that wants to have, like, everything. These are super bad games for collector people, and I'm yeah. definitely one it's, of those people. It's those types of games. It's like Diablo. Yeah. It's just, it's a Skinner box. You grind, you get items. Mm-hmm. And I got pulled in Diablo, but Diablo for a little while. Diablo doesn't, to me, it's not a collection game because you're getting stuff, but you're immediately destroying it. You never are. Like, well, no, that's the problem with that game is there's like sets of items that are the best, but yeah. you're, you're very rarely going to get those items. Yeah, yeah. And even when you do get them, they're not always going to have the best stats. Mm-hmm. So you're going to have to either re roll them. Yeah using the cube or you're just gonna have to keep grinding bosses yeah. to get better items. But it's not like like uh like so, Overwatch where it's like I would like to have every skin in the game and then just be able to pick my favorites from those that list. Yeah. It's it's never gonna happen. No, no not, not a chance. No, no, it's like never. I would have to play that game every hour of my life for the next like year or two. Yeah. Probably even then I wouldn't get it. Yeah. So it's a system that feels bad. I know why they do it. They're there to make money. I wanna talk about something related to this. So yeah. then I don't understand. So many noises. And it comes from, like, when I was going through the, uh, basically, it's fucking brand loyalty. What do you, uh, for what? When what? I was going through, when I was just reading through the subreddit, when all this was mm-hmm. going on, like, reading some different opinions, mm-hmm. other stuff. So many people were just defending Blizzard. People love fucking Blizzard. They love I it. I get that. But, and then this isn't just Blizzard. I see it with other things, but I'm like. Like, people were, like, complaining, like, oh, why are veterans only getting X number of boxes? Why can't we get more? And they were, like, for every post that was upset about it, there were two people jumping in, like, fuck you. You don't deserve this. You played, blah, blah, blah. Blizzard doesn't owe you you anything. It's like, why? Why are you, like, okay, a customer is just trying to get more out of the company. Yeah. Why are you just another normal person who has nothing to gain from defending the company stopping yourself from getting more? Yeah. What is that? I don't know. Like you're you're just a that you don't mean shit to that company. They don't give a fuck about you other than if you're giving them money. And if you're not giving them money, you are the product. Maybe they're You're the thing that well, obviously everybody knows that there's going to be some people thrown in insiders. who are hired by the company. That's <laughs> all, that's always a conspiracy theory that's been proven true to yeah. some extent. I'm oh, not yeah. saying it was on this no, subreddit, no, but but it's like if you're not spending money, you're mm-hmm. still the product yeah. because you're the thing that they're selling to the paying customers. Yeah. They got to have people to play against. Yeah. What is that thing that makes people want to defend these companies that are just making money off of you so wholeheartedly? I don't know. I mean, you see a lot of negative and I, like I get this, like you see a lot of negative stuff going on. It's like, oh, everybody's complaining about it. It's like, yeah, but like, and it, like kind of devil's advocate. It's like, it's really not that bad. And so you do want to go like, listen guy who's like i i i'm mad i'm gonna only get 70 loot boxes from this when i should be getting like 200 i've been playing this game since 1983 it's like well actually dude like 70 loot boxes is a lot you're gonna get like a pretty good chunk of the game just like for playing it since 83 or whatever (laughs) like no i i agree with you i get that i just don't get the person who feels the need to defend the company or it's like why not let people bitch and get me some more shit? It might be a thing, too, that's just, like, uh, like just, like, in the negativity. It's like, well, I got to throw something else out there because it's, like, there's just everybody's shitting on it so much. And it's, like, it's maybe it's not that bad. I'm and just... maybe they're all shitting on it too much. And, like, they're they're really asking, like, far too much when the, the middle ground is probably, like, somewhere in between, like, what you're given and what they want. That's but, probably, like, the ideal middle ground. what do you ground. have to gain from that? Literally nothing. You're hurting yourself. It, well, because if there was nothing but people complaining about the system, yeah. you would get a system more in favor of the customer. But this is also a reason I don't go on like the the subreddits and stuff because I hop on there and it's like everybody's shitting on stuff and it's like, yeah, I get it. I'm I don't want to like read that though. I, it, it I wish I had subreddit. a subreddit that was just like people that were moderately all right with this game. Well, I think I feel like the hero subreddit is usually very yeah, positive. It is. Yeah. But then when stuff like this happens, it's like, fuck. It's like, just cheer up. It, like, you are getting a bunch of free shit. You're not. But you are. That's the fucking naive viewpoint. You are. No, you're not. <laughs> you're getting stuff. You're, you're giving. It's the same. I kept seeing people use this. Mm-hmm. I didn't come up with this. Mm-hmm. But this is the thing that people use to describe this system, mm-hmm. not just Blizzard. It's the same. It's that psychology that people are addicted to gambling. Mm-hmm. Everybody is to a different extent. Mm-hmm. 
It's the same as like a drug dealer giving you the product for free. Yeah. And then telling you you got to yeah, pay for more. Yeah, first one's free. Next now, one. Everybody's like, oh, I can't believe you would fucking compare this to a video game. But it's like, I'm already playing this video Most game. games are gambling. Not really. Yeah, well, and uh, like... You Lots can... of games have implemented that recently. But... Well, no, no, no. I'm not saying loot box wise, but like... Is this monster too high level for me? Should I use my power attack now or save it for later for like a final boss? Or should I like your small none of gambling? That has to do with money. No, no. You're but bringing it is still, real money into this. But you've you've created a culture of gaming that is based on like these small risks and rewards, and now you add real money into it, and now it actually is gambling. Whereas before it was a safer form of gambling, I would say. I don't feel like it's gambling most of the time because so much of gaming is skill based. Sure, sure. Yeah. You put me into a game. But you're still I, making like snap decisions, for like risk reward, stuff like that. And that's kind of what gambling is. It's not risk reward if I know I'm going to win, if I just know I'm good enough. <laughs> well, you go up against somebody that's like your same skill level and you've got to like figure out what you're doing. I mean, for shooters and stuff, sure, they're, it's pretty much skill. But I'm saying like like RPGs and stuff like that. I don't feel like that has anything to do with the topic, though. That's it, it's a another form of like gaming is sort of gambling, I really. would say. No, there there have always been gambling games. What? And then there's just games like some games have gambling inside them as like a gameplay mechanic, but I would not say that all games have anything to do with gambling. Mm, I don't know. I I say it would. <laughs> like okay, Breath of the Wild. What in that has to do with gambling? Uh, just, I'm just saying like the risk reward, like it's like I could take on one of the like guardians right now. I don't have a lot of stuff, but if I beat it, I'm going to get a lot of good parts for later. It's like, do I do this? It's a gamble. It's not necessarily a monetary gamble and what you would think of a traditional gambling, it's but you're gambling still gambling if you can get better at it and guarantee that you win. Oh, well, then it's less of a gamble. No, nah, it's just practice. <laughs> That's if weird. gambling means literally you have a chance to win, and you cannot affect that chance. Yeah. In a game, you can. Well, There's tons of ways that you can increase your odds of winning. You can increase your odds of winning in, like, poker and stuff by playing it more. No, you can't. Yeah. You can't. You you can understand the odds and be like, hmm, based on what I have, I know that there's this percentage that they're going to have this. You can't change that through your gameplay. Yeah. There's nothing you can do to well, change no, no, no. what card they're going to draw sure. next. Sure, but your your skill in poker is based on your like knowing your opponents and like playing like your bluffs and everything. That's what poker is all about. But that does that's not, why there are you actual, can't change your odds though. The odds are what they are. Just because you're better at determining what the odds are doesn't mean you can change them. You, you're just better at guessing what the odds are, and there's still no guarantee you're right. No matter good, no how no matter how good you are at poker, you can never guarantee a win. Sure. In a video game, but you that's can. that's a gamble. Yeah, that is a gamble. Yeah, you're right. Poker is gambling. I know. That's what I'm saying. Video games are not always gambling, but there's still skill involved. Sure, but you. I don't can't think gambling is necessarily like. <laughs> I don't know what 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 is your definition of gambling. I don't. I don't. You can't guarantee a win. That's gambling. so. If you can guarantee a win, it's not a gamble. Yeah. Because if I can get to a skill level that I can guarantee a win, then it's not gambling. <laughs> I guess. How would that be gambling in any way? Yeah. No. But, I mean, there are other us things. Like, in a video game, sure, you could get to whatever point. But if it keeps throwing things like Dark Souls, you can be an expert level Dark Souls player and still just, like, slip up once and die. I can just come back and try again. Yeah, it's still, like... no additional cost. It's still kind of a gamble. I don't see it. I don't... I get what you're saying, but I don't relate the two at all. Yeah. I, there's, I think there's more to gambling than just... draining me. Of like, Spending there's nothing money. draining my psychology, like playing on like my desire to win without being able to increase my odds. Because say I go do something in Dark Souls and I lose, I've learned something. Yeah. I can learn how to play better next time. Mm-hmm. You can't do that in gambling. Well, no, no. not you like, Just keep giving them money. Sure. If you want to play like straight odds. I, I'm saying gaming is a form of like micro gambling. Yeah. I, I mean, and all that, that's. I get what you're saying. Not but traditional gambling, but like... I don't relate them to, to the most part because I don't play like little mobile games that are just gambling. No. I mean like most games I play 
has very little, if any, gambling related to it I mean, like, directly. card game. Like, I'd say Hearthstone is, like, sort of a gambling How game. How long ago did I quit playing Hearthstone I know, for that yeah. reason? <laughs> it's I like, do I play this? So, yeah. Well, not even, like, even if you're just playing, like, a Magic or, like, any kind of, like, trading card game. Yeah. It's still, like, a... Do I play this now? I got to look at the board. I've got to weigh my odds here and this and that. And there may not be any money on the line, but you're still, and it's still skill based. Yeah, on, that that would be a good example of a game being gambling, I guess, because you can't, you don't know what the other player has. No, you don't know what the other player has, but and it's you're getting dealt that random game, things. So I yeah. stand by it. Yeah, I stopped playing that game a while back. You played other like children's card games <laughs> before that. Yeah, like Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff. I'd still say that is like. And I would a never gamble. say that I played Yu-Gi-Oh because we never played by the rules. Yeah, it, we kind of played Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> it was bullshit i guess a card game's a better analogy yeah. but anyways we're, we're going off topic it play <laughs> the system plays on human psychologies like your want to keep trying to get because like anytime you play mm -hmm. you could potentially get like five legendary items yeah you could get all legendaries but you're probably not ever going to no no so it's playing on that and the worst part of it is it's targeting children yeah and so i'm like and people are like, oh, but it's for the money. I'm like, why is it because it's a large company with no person's face on it mm -hmm. that people just be go like, well, they're just a company doing what companies do. Companies are there to make money. Like, oh, yeah, you're right. It's not run by people who should be held accountable for like some morals. Their job is to just make money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, I don't get that. Well, they make children's games. That. Their job is obviously like to the make moment money. it becomes a com company, people <laughs> stop giving a shit about morals. Yeah. It's super. Like you see it so often. Yeah, yeah. Like people will jump to you like, well, they're a company. They have to make money. Yeah, there are tons of companies making money without being shitty. Yeah, yeah. Like sure they can increase their profitability, but they don't have to. Yeah, and it's they like, could just be profitable. They don't have to be. They don't have to maximize their profit. Well, you don't have to maximize to your profit. Yeah, at the sake of morality. Like, and I feel like that's what this system is. Yeah, you're targeting human psychology, and, and like some people consider it a sickness, gambling addiction. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to take it that far, but I do think it's shitty to yeah, do that. To I think it, it definitely could be a sickness for some people. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm just not yeah, going to yeah. make that argument because yeah, okay. that's a whole nother thing. Yeah. Yeah. Don't even I get what you're it. saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> I'm just saying, I just feel like it's shitty to use tactics like that to monetize your shit, especially when a primary part of your audience are children. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm on the side. This is a whole nother thing that is weird about America. Mm hmm. Most like large countries, you're not allowed to advertise to children. You're yeah. not allowed to make advertisements that target children mm -hmm. in any way. Yeah. Because and here we do it all the time. Because psychologists have proven over and over again, children don't know they're being advertised to. Their they brains don't aren't know developed until yeah. you hit like 25. Your brain's yeah. not like fully developed. So like you, you can like a, a young like kid, like 12 years old, can tell the difference between advertising usually. Yeah. But younger than that, they don't know they're being advertised to. They don't know what it means to be advertised yeah, to. Yeah, but like even as like a 12-year-old, you probably didn't realize when you walked down the cereal aisle no, yeah, you're right. that all the characters yeah. are looking down at you. Yeah, so Not I think... Not but your parents, they're looking down at you, which gives you more of a connection with those things. Yeah, so it's it's a weird thing where in America already, and obviously Blizzard operates in yeah. other countries, but in America, we're one of the few large countries that allows advertising directly to mm -hmm. children. And also it's like, and this just takes it a step farther where a product that is primarily targeting children yeah. is using these shitty tactics. now running like a lotto system. That, and you know that like they're counting yeah. on like kids with no, like that aren't being monitored oh, yeah. using their parents' credit cards. Yeah. That's like a huge thing for them. Or just like, well, I guess it's sort of like, because it happened when I was a kid too. Like when Pokemon cards came out, it's like, oh man, I got to get Pokemon. Every time I was at the store, it's like. Can I get Pokemon cards? Can I get Pokemon cards? Yeah, you didn't know what you were going to get. No, and you didn't know what you were going to get. It was another random loot yeah. system. It's the exact same thing. And then my, eventually my parents were just like, we're not buying you any more Pokemon cards. And it's like, what? But I only had like two packs. They saw where it was going. Yeah. That's... And it's like, okay, I guess now I, get, I just am never going to have Pokemon cards. Yeah. So And I'm I'm like, I'm an adult and I look at this system. I'm like, this system makes me feel bad. It makes me want to spend money. Yeah. I'm smart enough not to. Because I know the odds are not yeah. in any way in my favor, and I'm just going to feel worse after mm -hmm. spending money. But children aren't going to be able to make no. that connection. Yeah, they're just going to be like, "Wow, this game! I'm feeling shitty. I just need to keep giving it money till I feel good." Yeah, yeah. Well, eventually, you'll get that so, rare thing. Basically, I would never, if I had kids, I would never let them play a game with a system like this. And I would like strongly recommend anybody I know to not let their kids. Yeah, because it's just going to hurt them yeah. like over time, and they're not at a level that they can understand why. Yet. You're saying this now, though. It's hard to throw a rock and or like 
I don't even want to know what analogy I was about to make. You can't find a game almost now that yeah. doesn't have a random loot system like this in it. I know it's getting rough. So by the time they're like you're l- talking about like your kids, it, it's not gonna it, everything. It's getting worse. It's, it's not, gonna it's not, it's gonna, not gonna get, get better. better. No, it's yeah. not gonna get better. So uh, you got to kind of look at like what's the you know <laughs> lesser the, evil here? I guess the, which is the, the better challenge loose is to system. just educate people. Yeah, or like, I mean, if you were coming up like, hey, well, there's gonna be five items in a box. They they have to happen every time because this is what everybody's doing, and the exec said it has to happen. What's your ideal loot box system? My ideal loot box yeah, system. Yeah. What happens when somebody opens a like? Hey, we still need them to pay money for these things, and maybe you get them when you level up. But what what is an what's a good feeling loot box system? I honestly feel like they could do this. Mm-hmm. And it wouldn't change anything really if they just got rid of duplicates and just threw in like just gold or whatever the equivalent is. Yeah. Just get rid of the fucking duplicates because that feels awful when you get duplicates. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, fuck, yeah, I got. Oh, wait, no, I only get a quarter yeah. of that. Mm-hmm. It's like if you just gave me straight up a quarter of what it was worth the first time. Mm-hmm. I know it's stupid. I know it's the same thing. Yeah. But. It would feel a lot. Yeah, if you just saw gold, shitty. like a pile of gold. Because like, basically, psh. what it's doing is like, look at this thing you didn't get because mm-hmm. you already got it. Yeah. So now you could have gotten something equivalent, but you didn't. Yeah. And for like me, I own like most of the skins. In the yeah, game, that's unfortunately. I'm gonna get so many dupes doing this. That's a that's like what the my problem with Overwatch was was like at first it felt really good. Mm-hmm. Like I'm getting stuff every time. Well, that's how they get you because the beginning then, is yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, right. But then you get a point where you got enough items that mm-hmm. you're just getting duplicates. Yeah. And I never even got that many items. Like no. you just start you fill up all your little items. Yeah. And you never get any of those big items, you know, because the chances are well, lower. I had a, like I don't play Overwatch very much, but when the Christmas stuff came out, I was like, I want these fucking Christmas skins. So I was like, okay, I'll throw like fifty bucks at them. I'll get some boxes. And I started opening them. I got three of the Christmas tracers, which are like super fucking rare. I was like, I get three of the same fucking thing. Yeah. How? Like I got other rare ones too, but like, how did I get three of the same? Like when I happened twice, it's like, oh wow, that's like actually pretty rare. And then it happened the third time, and it's like. This is not. This is bad. This is real bad. I shouldn't be getting the same one. And the same thing has actually happened. To Hearthstone. I got like the last time the big expansion came out. I bought packs. I got two of the same legendary. There is a like 0.7 percent chance you even get a legendary card. And I got two of the same legendary in my 50 packs. I opened 50 packs in this latest expansion. Exact fucking same thing Damn. happened. It's like, what are the fucking odds here? It's it's super improbable yeah and yet it happens and that's that's one of the things that like and honestly i wouldn't make sense i'd be in favor of a not necessarily perfectly random loot box system where it does sort of steer away from things like hey do you have it there's only like you treating getting a duplicate would be like getting a legendary it's like oh you really rolled bad sorry yeah here's your but most of the time it tries to give you things you don't have supposedly you can re-roll yeah uh, for gold which you get by doing quests and things in game so if you do get something bad it's like at least there's that see and it was kind of it was weird how i figured this out because i we experienced it in hearthstone Mm -hmm. first this random loot box system from blizzard and I accepted it because I was like, oh, it's just like other card yeah, games. Yeah, it's just like opening packs. And I loved it. I loved Hearthstone at first because like, oh, it's like a card game with – it works pretty much the same as if a real card game but without the limitations mm-hmm. of a physical card game. Then they slowly started implementing all the limitations yeah. that the phys- physical card games have. So then I was like out. And I slowly realized the problem with the loot system there mm-hmm. that you can't trade cards like you can in yeah, real life. Yeah, But you can scrap them so for one-tenth what yeah, they're worth. Yeah, you can't get like the full value out of a card. And then – when they did it in Overwatch, and I had that that dissonance where I was mm-hmm. like, "Wait, this isn't a card game. Yeah, this is just a regular game." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Wait, yeah, this is a shitty system, and it was shitty in Hearthstone, but I I can see it more clearly now." And now they want to add it to Overwatch when Overwatch already has a system I like, where it's like just oh, the mean, cosmetics, not Overwatch heroes, heroes, heroes. Yeah. yeah. Now I, I and did, now I'm just I'm I'm fervently against. I it. did see that they are doing like. A loot box system where it's like they have regular loot boxes and they have like epic loot boxes which i guess have higher chances of getting things and probably like you're guaranteed to get a certain level of things like when you open a pack in hearthstone you're always going to get at least a rare yeah so you know it's like well at least i'm getting a blue card 
no matter what happens, I'm going to get at least, and that's the same for all trading card games, and I think it's going to be the same for these loot boxes. Like, I'm going to get something rare. I'm not going to get all commons. In, in Overwatch, you can get all duplicates. I've done yeah, it multiple and maybe times. Not. And maybe that's what the epic loot boxes are for. It's like when you hit, like, your 10th level instead of your, like, like 1 through 9, you get regulars, and then 10th level, it's like, here's an epic. It's going to have something good in it. You know it will. Oh, I think the epic loot boxes are, like... Uh, or maybe they're paid or they're something. They're hero-specific. So you're guaranteed okay. to get an item related to that, to hero, that hero that you unlocked it with. That's kind of cool. But I think it could still be a duplicate Yeah, if you already have it. Also, that'd be bad. Oh, yeah. Another problem hmm. is, so, you know, and getting the games mixed up overwatch mm -hmm. you know like most of this like skins are just recolors mm -hmm. now obviously that's how hots works too but usually when you buy a skin you get all their colors in yeah it. yeah you don't do that anymore nope you get each individual color as you unlock them mm -hmm. so, so it's like shit i got like the pink version of diablo it's like i don't want the fucking pink version yeah. i wanted like the blood red or like the black version of diablo because it looks so fucking cool yeah yeah now all this being said you are about to get like 70 of these loot boxes. And, I, and I've said, I don't know if I'm going to open them. I'm contemplating just never opening sure, them. don't open them. Because I'm wondering if that's going to kill my desire to play the game. On the other hand, for me, I have been buying stuff because there is no way to obtain it without playing. And now I'm looking at it and going like, I can just play the fucking game and get stuff now. And that means I'm going to actually spend less money. Because I'm not like... The loot boxes don't really get me unless they do like but you're going to constantly be egged to spend money. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing. I guess that's the trade off. But sh I'm already egged to like when you load the game store loads up. I, already, I always have everything that's in the store that I want. Usually that's why I like <laughs> yeah. the current system. I've bought almost everything I want. Yeah. Like nerve. And I have I've, we've talked about all the skins before. There's very few of them that I like. Most of them I think. Are yeah. Gone. And, I, and I, I'm kind of the same way. So like, I buy the ones I like. Yeah. Which there are very few of. And I've liked it so far. Now, and there's a couple I haven't bought yeah. yet that I do like. Now it's like, well, I, I just I get may it. never get that yeah. one. Or I'm going to have to wait forever till I can craft it. Yeah. Or if they have a scrapping system, maybe you can just scrap everything and just get the couple that you like anyway. That's what I'm saying. You may yeah. have to wait forever till I can craft it. Yeah. So. Regardless, you will get some value for nothing except like having played the game previously in the current system. Yeah. I don't know. I'm either, I'm either going to have to just not open the boxes or I'm mm -hmm. going to have to like make myself wait till I'm done playing. Because that's usually what happens in Overwatch is... So they, they've, they've got this system worked out mm -hmm. like fucking science. Yeah. Like you, every single game you play, it usually takes two or three games. Mm -hmm. You see that level bar go up. Yep. But that level bar isn't just a level. Mm -hmm. It's a loot box. Yeah. So every game you're like, oh, a little bit closer, a little yeah. bit closer... Third game, you get it. Yes, fucking loot box. What's like, in it? It feels good. Yeah. And you've been watching. You've been building up to this moment. You got mm -hmm. it. You go open it. Oh, I didn't get anything good. Nope. It felt so good to get the loot box, but I didn't get anything good. Now I feel bad. Uh, oh, I can just buy some. Yeah. I could just buy some. Yeah, I could feel good right now. Why don't I just right buy now? some? Yeah. I can, I can get that feeling of loot boxes again right now. Yeah. Coupled with the disappointment of mm -hmm. not getting anything in those mm -hmm. loot boxes mm -hmm. immediately. Yeah. And it's just, I get it. It's a stupid thing that you should be able to ignore. Yeah. I and maybe with some time, you will be. Maybe after so long of doing this. And I think generally... I would turn it off in a heartbeat and give up all the free shit. Yeah. I think generally people are going to get... To, I think it's going to take a while, but I think people are going to get tired of these systems. And it's going to shift to something else. Yeah. It's been going for a long time. I mean, like Team Fortress 2 seems like the oldest one I can think of that started this. Maybe like CSGO or something. Don't they have like random loot boxes too? Yeah. You got to pay to open those though. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, so, but then it's, it's I played again, enough Counter-Strike like, and like I get those boxes and mm -hmm. I'm just like, I'll just sell them. Yeah. It was the same thing for like TF2. I'm it's like spending money to open them. Here's a bunch of crates and I have some like really old crates that might be worth something, but it's like, I got to buy the keys. So I that don't one's care. crazy. Yeah. Cause my little brother has got weapons in that, that he sold for over a hundred bucks. That, that's He's insane. able to just buy games with stuff he sold from playing yeah. that game. Or you could just buy more loot boxes or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and then sell, them, sell some more. And he, you remember that whole controversy with all the CSGO gambling sites? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was on those. Apparently. Yeah. He, that's how he, I was wondering. I was like, are you spending money on those uh, keys and stuff? He's like, no, I just go on these CSGO gambling sites. Yeah. Start small and, and you keep building it up. He was making money. Not a ton of money, but no, he's but buying still, video games with it. Hey, that's better than I could do, which maybe there is something for a system like that. 
Yeah. Because no, like no, 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 that was not no, not a good system. system. No. <laughs> well, I mean, I had to get a job, but he's just using that to buy games. I guarantee you made more money per hour with your job than he made from that. Well, sure, but he doesn't have to get a job. Well, he still does. <laughs> You just play games instead and then, like, continue to uh, get more games. Basically, I just wish companies would stop making me feel shitty for supporting their games by yeah. prioritizing the whales over me. Yeah. I'm willing to continually give you money mm-hmm. if you keep putting out good stuff. Yeah. Fine. I'll just, but you're prioritizing the people that are going to give you more money for yeah. less. Mm hmm over me and it feels shitty and I don't want to support you. And that's yeah. my fuck. Everybody's like, Oh, they're a company who has their rights. So, yeah. So am I, I can fucking complain about it. Yeah. Quit fucking defending your corporate overlords. Even Overwatch. Just let me bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Even Overwatch that like I paid 60 bucks for, if they had a version that was like 90 bucks, that just gave me everything. I would get that instead. Oh yeah. It's like, Hey, I you, probably wouldn't have bought it up front, but I would have waited and then bought it. Yeah. And then get, yeah. You would pay of whatever. And the same thing with like, here's the storm. I wish they, they do have a retail copy, but I wish they had a like, Here's our like legacy edition with like here's all the skins from the previous years at like a one set price and all the heroes from the previous years and then maybe you buy like the expansion on that the next year and get like here's everything we did this last year. It's like I would buy that. I would absolutely buy that. There are plenty yeah. of games that I played for more than a couple of years that is like and it's kind of like what the WoW thing does with like those games. It's like you're I mean you sure you're paying a monthly subscription but like when the expansion comes out it's like. You know, I like this game. Yeah, of course I'll get the expansion. I don't need it to keep playing. I can keep playing the old stuff, but yeah, I'll get the expansion and I'll play like whatever they're doing here. Yeah. But yeah, the random system. I wish they would just kind of keep a like a storefront open. That because that's gonna be the thing that sucks. It's like maybe I do want to pay full price for one of these skins, Blizzard. And why won't you just let me do that? Yeah, and I've come full circle. There was a time when I would not touch cosmetics. I'd be like, I'm not buying. I'm not spending money on any of this shit. Yeah. And I came full You're circle. I got to a point there. where I was like, I play this game enough. I'm going to buy some of those. Yeah, and that's like kind of how I feel. It's like if I like a game, it's like, you know what? Especially like a free-to-play game. And maybe that's what got me with Hero. Because now I've spent more money on Heroes than I would have ever spent if it was like a real yeah. game. And that's how they get you. Yeah. It, but it's like, I like this game. I want to give them some money to show them like, hey, I like this game. And I'm like, I'm playing it a lot. But yeah, then you get definitely. To, I played it for a while before I was like, you know what? This is a good game. Yeah. And I'm going to buy some money. I'm going to spend some yeah. money on some stuff. And ultimately, I mean, that's kind of what keeps it, like, being, like, all right. Maybe that's why those people are so defensive because it is, like, hey, you know what? This actually is a good game. The systems surrounding it aren't perfect. and I'm definitely less than ideal. But the core game is still a good game. Yeah. I, just, so. I, would, I wish I could just turn it off. <laughs> I would give up every free item. Yeah. Just to not have that little bar constantly. I'm a weak man, all right? I did this in Overwatch at one point yeah. where I was like, all right, I'm not opening any loot boxes mm-hmm. until I get 10. I yeah. was like, I'm only going to open them at 10. Mm-hmm. That way I can break this cycle of feeling shitty every time I get a loot box. I never got there. I would always uh-huh. open it before I got to 10. Yeah, I don't know what you need to do. Maybe you need to uh, get that other <laughs> the app that I just started using for like doing my One Punch Man workout, <laughs> get Habitica, and it's like, I, I didn't open the, I got a loot box, didn't but I didn't open, open it. it. <laughs> Ding. And then you get your other fix. <laughs> there you go. You got to get other systems in place. You got to take the get negative. That dopamine dump. Oh, yeah. You got to take the negatives and you replace it with something. So yeah. instead of opening the loot box, you instead, it's like, hey, I'm going to like, I don't know what else you do, something enjoyable that you like. It's like, hey, I'm going to hop over to like Reddit and watch a video real quick. And it's like. That was fun. I like that. <laughs> but that's what you do. You take a negative thing that you normally would and replace it with a small thing, like reward. So every time you get a loot box, just hop over to Reddit real quick and watch a video. And don't let yourself, See, like, while I, you're playing. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I think I've drained myself of the ability to do this because I do it with money. Yeah. I will, I, I'm pretty, I'm a cheap person. I, I try not to spend money. Yeah, yeah. Just because. And I do that every single day. I'll be like, Oh, I could go get lunch at blah, 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 yeah, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to have a peanut butter jelly sandwich, and I'm going to look at that money in my bank account. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, it's a good it's, replacement. It's it, it doesn't feel good in the short run by any means, but mm-hmm. then, like, like, yeah, it yeah. feels good over time. But then, then you get home on but the I weekend, think, and you open your bank account, and you go, yeah. yeah I I'm think I've drained that. This week. I, that drains all my energy yeah. of not of I resisting. Mean, 
that Smaller like things. stress and like resistance and that sort of thing is like a muscle. You got to yeah. work it. Got to work it. Which means maybe you do like when the loot box thing comes up, it's just like, nah, I'm not going to do it. Or you just go into the blizzard settings and just delete those textures. Where'd they go? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you can't do that. You'd get banned. Yeah. They yeah. scan they, your shit. They would be like, what's the, what's this? They'd be like, yo, your system files don't match yeah, up. Yeah, it's weird. Banned you you lost all your loot box skins. <laughs> but, uh, let's talk about something for a minute that doesn't have anything to do with blizzard. Ooh. First of all, Skyrim. Just got to get that out of the way. Jeez. Oh, I feel like we should be able to go one time. We have. One, I know. We I only went one time. I don't want it to happen anymore. It happened when Zelda came out. Was that? Do that we, was have we done one. it twice? We, yeah. Oh, it was just no, that, that one? That was the one. That was just the one, I think. I want to go back and listen to that episode and make sure. <laughs> I feel like maybe Thad's in the background somewhere. It's like, Skyrim. Skyrim. Yeah. So what's this What's this thing? Oh, I played Killing Floor 2. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Not not better news, really. Mm-hmm. Not, not a fan. No. I thought it was a lot better game from the videos I'd mm-hmm. seen. It's boring. I've seen so many it's, like ads for it on Steam. It's always like super on sale. So and it yeah. like seems popular. I see stuff for it all the it time. It was on my wish list. I bought it for my uncle for his birthday, and then I didn't buy the two pack because mm-hmm. it was on sale. Yeah, I didn't buy the two pack. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna have time to play for mm-hmm. a few weeks because I was working on the weekends. So yeah, don't, why buy? And it? then yeah. he texted me this week. He was like, hey, let's play Killing Floor. I was like, oh, I didn't buy it. I guess I gotta go buy it. Yeah, bought it for full price. Mm-hmm. And we were playing That's it for a little while. <laughs> and I was like, this. It's just a shitty. It's like Left 4 Dead, mm-hmm. but without the levels. It's just uh, like, or yeah, without the, like, you're not working your way through a level. It's like, you just, it's like Call of Duty Zombies combined with Left 4 Dead. Okay. It's just, oh, here you are. Uh, there's four waves of enemies there's and then a boss. Be zombies, yeah. Kill them. Kill them. Yeah. And it's like, at the end of the wave, you go up to this machine, you buy your weapons. There's an objectively best weapon for each character. Yeah. And you... If you do it right, you can get it by wave two before mm-hmm. wave two starts. If you got like a ton of headshots in the yeah. first round, you sh- almost 100% of the time you can get it before the third wave. Mm-hmm. And then it's like there's nothing to do but just refill your ammo between rounds. Maybe it's kind of a more casual game though. Like like at work sometimes I used to play like Call of Duty Zombies all the time and nobody was really like good at it. But there isn't a, like an objectively best way to play those games. It's yeah. like you go to this room, unlock this first with your money, then get this gun. Then you all group in a corner and it's like shoot them until you go and get a like the laser pistol and then you just keep doing that over and over yeah no there definitely is because you there's different difficulties but it doesn't really get that much harder other than the enemies just get more health Mm -hmm. and it it is just like okay we need to have one of the medic we need to have one of the fire bug we need to have one of this character this character this character because they each do different things Mm -hmm. it's like all right in this level we all need to go to this room Mm because it's the easiest to defend yeah and we're going to lock so the doors. So it's just that same sort of thing. And people like that. I but think, it, and like, the only objective to the game is to get your character to level 20, which yeah. doesn't take very long. I got yeah. one to level like 15 already in one weekend. Mm-hmm. And I was playing other ones too. So I, I probably yeah. could have got a couple to 20 if I wasn't. And like the so you get a perk every five levels mm-hmm. that you can choose from. Like, and you can switch them whenever you want, just whenever okay. you're playing yeah, that yeah, character. You just unlock them. But half of them are just like, oh, do 10% extra damage with your class's weapons. Okay. Like, oh, fun. Yay. <laughs> or uh, or alternatively, yeah. your class's weapons do 10% more knockback. Nah, well. Yay. I mean, at least you're not getting loot boxes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so and I, I was kind of excited to play it because I remember watching the videos for it. It was like, whoa, mm-hmm. this Killing Floor 1 was garbage. Oh, it was yeah. like a shovelware game. Mm-hmm. It was it was actually pretty popular. Yeah. But going back and playing it, it was bad. Yeah. It just, nothing worked right. But I remember I played it with my uncle because he bought it for me. It was mm-hmm. like five bucks one weekend and we played yeah. it. So that's why we got it again. And that may be the thing with the game too is like, hey, it's just a cheap game that's like for the price, it's not bad. It's 40 bucks. The full game? Yeah. Oh, wow. I see it on sale for like yeah, usually, uh, eight or something. Like usually. I think it was down to 15. Maybe even less or maybe more, a little bit more. But yeah, it's yeah. like. I paid 40 for it. Yeah. It doesn't feel good. Yeah. Well, like, I haven't. <laughs> like it. I mean, I like, I'll play games with my uncle anyways, just because yeah. that's what we do. Yeah, like, yeah, We play Battlefield 1, we play that. Yeah, Siege and Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike, all those games. I don't think he has yeah. Siege. Yeah, he does Siege? have Siege. We okay. play together. Yeah, I yeah, I thought us. he did. Yeah, so, but yeah, Killing Floor 2, not a good game in my opinion. Yeah. Didn't enjoy it. Yeah, well, 
I haven't played a lot more games because I'm still just like holding off on Zelda because I feel like I'm, my Switch is just going to go in the trash after that because I have nothing to play <laughs> on it. So I've just been playing Zelda and just doing dungeons. But we did watch a show this, like yesterday, actually. We oh, watched, Samurai Gourmet. Samurai Gourmet. These cooking shows are going crazy. These, like, abnormal. Yeah, we're sitting here watching British Bake Off. Yeah, we're, we're Wait, watching it, the Great British What is British that show Bake called? It, it, see, the problem is it does have different Is it the names. Great British Baking Show? It's the Great British Baking Show. Yeah, and I always want to call it the Great British Bake Off yeah, because you, that sounds. You say that. Yeah, I think Lauren says that. But I was like, "Am I going crazy? I swear it's the Great British Baking Show." I think show. in uh, England, it's like it. It is something like a Bake Off, but I think it's just called. I can't remember what the name was, but it has a different name that is more yeah. similar to that. And so, yeah, people get it confused. Uh, it's great. It's not like your typical cooking show at all. Nobody's angry at anybody. Nobody's yelling. It's not like you're bad. The other people are good. It's just like. Hey, everybody's trying to get along here. Yeah, We're they, all trying to be the best baker. They definitely don't do that thing that I hate about reality TV where they just manufacture mm -hmm. like people being angry at each other. No, no. In fact, everybody's like they're helping each other out yeah, sometimes. It's nice. It's like looking around. It's like, what are you supposed to do here? It's like, well, it's a competition. But you know what? I'm going to help you out because I'm a nice guy. Yeah, like the emotions come from like towards the end of the episode. Like yeah. you're like, oh, somebody has to go home, but I love everybody. Yeah, it's like, oh, I don't want anybody to go home. Yeah, it's it's the exact opposite where it's like, I want that fuck to get out of yeah, here. Yeah, it's, it's like, like, oh, it's like, no, don't send home Annie. I love Annie. Send yeah. home Harold. <laughs> yeah, and instead it's like, now no, it's like, I don't want Annie or Harold to go. It's They're like, oh, both no. wonderful. Yeah, it's, it's literally like, <laughs> oh, no, it's going to be Annie or Harold, but I don't yeah. want either of them. Yeah, they did so bad. Oh, no, they like flubbed this week. But I know they're good. They could do it if yeah, they we, tried. We were just watching an episode, and I was afraid Louis was going to see it. So uh, I, I didn't no. see the end of the episode. Uh -oh. We might be getting sent home. Ooh, no, I think, I think it's going to be a Chechna. Spoiler Chechna. alerts. I can't say her name. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember any of the characters' names from the. Uh, but Samurai Gourmet, another cooking show, yeah. where it's just it's about a retired old man who has like sort of social anxiety. Uh, but he just want, he's retired now, so he's just going to eat whatever he wants. And it's like him overcoming a little bit well, of the social anxiety. It's not even just eat whatever he wants. He's learning to just and do to, whatever he wants. Yeah, to do wants. whatever he wants. Yeah. But it's like it's accented with food is like the incentive. It's, it's mostly about food. And this man enjoys fucking food. Every time he eats, and it's usually a very simple, like standard meal. Like it's, it's an old Japanese man, so he's eating these like Japanese dishes. He loves him some instant ramen. Yeah, he eats instant ramen and just shouts it to the sky, like, delicious. And this isn't, like, an animated show. This is, no. like, a live-action thing. And, like, he loves beer. And it's, like, just these, like, it's the simple things. It's the slow, simple things. And but it's, he's a pretty good actor. Just, like, yeah, yeah. His facial expressions are so good. Mm -hmm. He is really good. Yeah, I actually looked it up today, and he's done, like, the voice for, I think, Lupin the Third, like, for an anime. I don't know what that is. Uh, well, is it a Harry Potter thing? Sure, yes. It's for the uh, the Star Wars. The Harry Potter anime. The Harry Potter Star Wars. There's going to be a Harry Potter anime in the next decade, I'm sure. Is there not already? No, there probably isn't. You're right. I'm talking about like a Japanese produced anime using the property. That's going to happen. Well, maybe that'll be what the uh, Japan branch that J.K. Rowling like outlined will be. She's already setting oh, up for them to. Yeah. Nice. She, she with the, the movie that came out. Did you ever see it? No. You what, never what saw it? Uh, Fantastic Beasts oh, yeah, and I saw that. Where to Find Them. Okay. Yeah, I saw that. Well, she also, before that came out, she outlined sort of like, here's what the American Wizard Society is like. Here's like every, she went through like every country and it's like, here are their headquarters. Here oh, are where the kids go to school. I thought you were saying that she was setting up a branch of her company. Oh, no, no. I meant like she set up like the narrative to be in Japan. So you could maybe see an anime spinoff with that school. Dude, I would love. That would be, that would actually make a lot of sense. Dude, I would, when, I would you love could do it. a Harry Potter anime. I obviously, it probably wouldn't be called Harry Potter because it would have nothing no, to do no. with him. No, but. no. But I mean, like, it would be like J.K. Rowling's whatever it was. And I think you, there's probably a good story to tell there. And with anime, you can do some cool visual effects and stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, everybody can be Goku. It'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> I have a spell to turn my hair <laughs> yellow and make my aura show. It's like, oh, yeah, well, I've got teleportation. <laughs> oh, Master Roshi, stop. Yeah, yeah. Stop, Master Roshi, stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't mention Harry Potter without going to that <laughs> fucking stamper. <laughs> uh. Good stuff, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, are we about at time? No. No? Not even close. What? No. Oh, well, I guess we can keep going. What else is on the docket? Uh, 
Well, oh, actually, I forgot to mention this mm-hmm. as related to earlier when I was talking about like people just defending the shit out of brands they love. Mm-hmm. Ha- I was on the Nintendo subreddit. Obviously, we know that that one is very much like tons of people just yeah. eating up anything about the Switch. They, they love can. it. They fucking love it. So I saw one that was like somebody posted like, oh, check it out. The YouTube video about the uh, the the Switch announcement. Oh, yeah, it's like, yeah. It's up to like 30 million views. And it was like, whoa, that's so cool. I was like, well, why do you care? It's out. This yeah. is like the announcement video. Why are you like celebrating that it hit some number of views? What the fuck? And then mm-hmm. I was like, whatever. Mm-hmm. I was like, I don't get it. I was like, why is this news? Why is this on the subreddit? Whatever. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I, I, I get it. I do get it. I said I don't get it. I get it. People are just clamoring for anything related to the Switch yeah. that have bought one because they. And it might be more of a Reddit thing where it's like I want to get up votes. And it was definitely this. echo chambers yeah, yeah. in there. But another one. Somebody posted about the Lego game that just came out. They're oh like, yeah, that undercover. Thing. And they're like, "Oh guys, check it out! The Lego game sold more copies on the Switch than any other system." And my immediately thought was, "Well, no shit. The Switch has no other games." Yeah. Uh, I have heard, though, that, like, apparently, as the Lego games go, this one is, like, a pretty decent one. Really? What yeah. I was reading, it was below. It's not even a new game. No, it's not a new game. It's not new. Justin would just say, I mean, ju- I had to be fair, because Justin is a Nintendo fan, and he collects Legos. Yeah. And so he was like, it's actually not, like, a bad Lego game. So that yeah, may I didn't be hear anything like bad a, about yeah. it, but when I was reading the reviews, people were like, and eh, Lego World's better. Yeah. yeah. So, but, uh. Yeah, and then there were people in there who made that exact comment that I thought. They were like, guys, this isn't really news. Yeah. Other, All the other consoles have more games to choose from. Obviously, the Switch is going to sell a ton of the only game available on Yeah, it. that's why people are like And then people were just jumping out. on this person. Be like, like, tell them, like, well, this can be a positive for the Switch. This is good for us, blah, blah, blah. I was like, guys, you don't work for the fucking company. Chill out. Yeah. You, I you mean, bought their product. I understand you not you're them. wanting to do, the, like, uh, like, you want the product to do well because there is very little on it, and you want to get people to get but more stuff coming. on it. But yeah, it's it's coming. They've laid out the. They've already laid the plan. It's gonna happen. Yeah. It's gonna have good games. We already know that. Like what games are gonna come out? And Nintendo, their games are usually of a high caliber. They're not. They don't first normally party make. Games, yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. And they've already laid a ground plan for first party they, games throughout they the whole are, year. They are allowing some shitty games to be out on the system. Sure, but you know the high caliber ones are coming. That, well, that's because they like need to and, fill it. And those shitty games are going to come on everything eventually. Yeah. But I, I didn't think they would let them out. Well, so there's like soon. there's Angry Birds on Xbox. It's like what? yeah, but I'm saying like, and first of all, like Angry Birds is probably considered a system seller to some extent, even though you and I don't see it that way. To me, you and I, that's just a shitty game. But sure. There are probably some parents who are like, oh, look, we can get this for our kids, and we can play Angry Birds on it. Yeah, yeah, or or the other way around where it's like, my kids fucking love Angry Birds. I'm going to get this console. They can play Angry Birds. I'm going to play Halo later. Yeah, they just their purchase. Yeah, though. yeah, exactly. So that's different. I'm just talking about, like, these shitty games that are coming out. Mm-hmm. Like, like, there's, like, a Farmville game thing. Snake Game or something. Or the- that Snake Game was a little – that I- one's literally, like, a – game made for the switch so oh, okay. i kind of gave up okay. i forgave that one but there's like a farmville simulator type it's a knockoff of farmville mm-hmm. uh there's a hero rush game that looked really shitty yeah it's just the, the games that look like mobile games and there's another one that came out this week oh yeah it was like this f- woman who like flies on a motorcycle oh. bouncing off of trees to collect stars oh this looks like a shitty mobile yeah. game and i knew this was gonna happen because you guys yeah. were like it's not going to have a touch screen. It's like it's definitely going to have a touch screen as a tablet. And now we're getting these like touch screen mobile games. It's like, yeah, it's they've keep, made a tablet. I forgot it was a touch screen. Yeah. I yeah. don't think I've used a touch screen at all. Well, I'm I'm kind of mad that they even made it a touch screen because like Zelda, it's like there are things that you could like when you have your photos open, I should just be able to tap whatever photo I have and have it pull up. Instead, yeah. I got to use the joystick to do it. It's like I should be able to like tap or like if my hearts are low, it'd be nice if I could just tap those and eat a health item. Yeah, what's up with not being able to full screen the photos you take? Yeah, that's also weird. They always have to have, like, that border that takes up, like, a third of the screen. I know, I was trying to, like, look for details and when I was looking for memories, and it's like, fuck, just, like, I had to go put put it, like, in the charging station so it'd go to the TV and then, like, pull the TV close and, like, what am I missing here? I was just trying to take a screenshot of a picture I took because I wanted to, like, tweet it because mm-hmm. I thought it was, like, a cool picture I yeah. got. And I was like, oh, I can only screenshot it with this huge border. That's kind of yeah. lame. Yeah, you actually have to, like, 
go into the camera mode and then do like a screenshot with the screenshot button. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. It's very it's strange. Weird yeah. But yeah, back to the original thought. I'm I'm not surprised that these shitty games are coming out in the system. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised that they'd allowed it so soon because it the eShop is not looking good right now. No. And you I know it's going to get better. Yeah. But I'm just looking at it from like right. a marketing yeah, yeah. standpoint. If like I handed somebody my Switch and they were looking at that eShop and mm-hmm. didn't know any better, if it were me, yeah. I would look at it and be like, I'm not buying this thing. Yeah. It's like Zelda and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's why they did lay a ground plan. It's like, here's our games for the next year. Because yeah. it's like, people need to know. Because that was one of the problems with the Wii U. It's like, it came out and it's like, cool, I've got like, I don't remember what I got when the Wii U came out. Like, that's how bad the like lineup was. But it was like, got this cool game system. You got Zombie U. I did get Zombie U, which I didn't really end up even playing. But like, it's like, I got a couple cool games. It's like, what's coming out? I don't know. I think other said, than Mario Kart, they the said game, a Mario Kart yeah. will come out some at some point, and they said like a Smash Brothers will come out at some point. When I don't know. At least now I know. Like here are the dates. These are coming out. I think it's weird that other than Mario Kart, the game we played most was probably that Mario Run game, and the like the the Mario uh, theme park game. Oh yeah, uh, that's actually a good game. Yeah. yeah, but we played that more than Smash Bros. Easy. Yeah, probably way more than Smash mm-hmm. Bros. Yeah. Smash Bros. kind of came and went. Like, I think we had, like, a two-week period, and then we never touched it. Yeah. Yeah. I even... I, I still just, really like Smash Brothers. I know. I is... bought a 3DS for that. Yeah. And then, like, I went home, like, less than a month later and just left it with my brother. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't like playing it on the 3DS, though. I liked but... it. Just nobody was playing it, so I sold it. Yeah. I didn't sell it. I gave it to my brother. Yeah. Gave it up. Put down Smash forever. <laughs> I was like, I can play it when I go home. Yeah, that's true. Or I can play it on the Wii U, but I've never done it since then. Yeah, we don't actually do like a lot of party games anymore. Or like not those kind of party games. Yeah, yeah we, we found other more adult party games, I guess. I don't know. It's it's strange. Drawful doesn't have to be an adult party game. It, we just play it that way. <laughs> we're adults. It has to be yeah, an adult go. party game. Yeah. <laughs> if there's not a penis in every drawing, it's not an adult party game. Yeah, you just get down votes. Yeah. <laughs> we are seven minutes over time. Well, we have a specific time now. Yeah. You asked earlier. We were 30 seconds from it. Now we're seven minutes over. It. Wow. I have a sense for it. Although I don't know what that yeah, time is. When you, when you asked, we were, we were 30 seconds from an hour. When it just asked. felt like we had been going for about an hour. Yeah. Wow. I guess I got a sense for it. You got a good sense. I got that time sense. I haven't even looked at my like phone clock. Neither have I. Crazy. Let's see. What time? You got any texts? It is a 11.09 p.m. Woo, Monday, boy. April 10th. My phone says do push-ups. <laughs> Do some push-ups right now. No, I've already done 100 today. Fucking wimp. (laughs) Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. This has been a pleasant podcast full of anger, resentment, a little bit of joy. Yeah, maybe our podcast should be more like the Great British Baking Show. It should. Yeah. We should stop talking about things we don't like. And I've made an effort to do that Mm -hmm. multiple times in my life, Mm -hmm. and it just gets drawn out of me. Yeah. So easy to be negative. Yeah, it's great to be negative. Got to start enjoying the little things in life. Yeah. Like whatever podcast you're going to be listening to next. Good night, everybody. Good night.